Swayambhu Narada Shambhu Kumaro Kapila Mano Pralado Janako Bhishmo Balir Vaya Saki Vayam Once again Swayambhu Narada Shambhu Kumaro Kapila Mano Pralado Janako Bhishmo Balir Vaya Saki Vayam One more time Swayambhu Narada Shambhu Kumaro Kapilo Manu Pralado Janako Bhishmo Balir Vayasaki Vayam Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Sorry for the delay. <laughs> but today we are discussing on the Srimad Bhagavatam which is the crest jewel, the end of it all of the Vedic scriptures, okay, which was compiled by the great sage Vyasadev in his full state of maturity after finishing all the Vedas, the Upanishads, the Puranas, the Samhitas and all that you know, including the Itihasas, okay. So, Srimad Bhagavatam is the book that shows us how God behaves with his devotees, okay? <laughs> Gita will tell you who God is. It will not tell you how God behaves. <laughs> it will also tell you to some extent, but not in detail. But if you read the Srimad Bhagavatam, then you will realize that how God beautifully behaves with those who love him and those who he loves. Remember what I said in my earlier video? God wants you, he doesn't need you. And even if he doesn't need you, he still wants you, okay? So, what did I just recite? Once again, let us recite. Swambhu Narada Shambhu Kumaro Kapilo Manu Pralado Janako Bhishmo Balir Vaya Saki Vayam these 12 names are the names of the 12 Mahajans who are known as great personalities. Great personality, why? Because they can do modeling. <laughs> no, they have nothing to do with modeling, money, showbiz. None of these. They are great personalities because Krishna defines oh, what greatness is, who is a great personality. Okay. Samahatma Sudulabha. Krishna says, Mahatmanastu Maam Partha Daivim Prakriti Mashritam. Okay. Who is a divine personality? One who takes shelter in me. Okay. One who takes refuge unto me. He is a great personality. Okay. And later Krishna also says, Samahatma Sudulabha Manushyanam Sahastreshu Kaschiti Atati Siddhaye. So in that what he means that, one who inquires about me is very rare. Out of thousand millions, some will inquire about me. Okay. And then among those, somebody will try to attain me. And from those who attain me is very rare. Samahatma su dullabha. Su means definitely. Dullabha means very rare. <laughs> he is certainly very rare. <laughs> and in earlier sloka, as I said, he says, Daivim Prakriti Mashita Pajantyananya Manaso Gyatva Bhuta Adima Vyayam One who takes shelter in me, refuge in me, he is divine. He is a great personality, certified by God himself. Okay. That is why even in Christianity you will see different saints and sages. Okay. Saint Augustine, Saint Francis, Saint Paul, so many. I don't know the names of many, but some of them. <laughs> and even in the tradition of Islam, there are so many. Suleiman himself, okay, the one who was very strong in his intuitions, the great Suleiman, yes, who doesn't know about him? <laughs> There's Ali, yes, we all know about these great characters. Even in India, there are great personalities like. Hazrat Nizamuddin and Amir Khusro who exemplify the relationship of a guru and a disciple. 
wrote poems in glorification of God. Okay. Allah, the greatest. That is the meaning of the word Allah, who is the greatest. Yes. Now, who are these 12 personalities? As per the Srimad Bhagavatam, these 12 personalities are the great Mahajans. Maha means great. Jana means personalities. Okay. They are certified by God. Okay. Not by Google or by Microsoft or by the President of the United States or by the dictator of Russia. <laughs> A is these are personalities who are certified by God. Okay. And who are these 12 personalities? Let us recite again. Swambhu Narada Shambhu Kumaro Kapelo Manu Prahalado Janako Bhishmo Balirvaya Asaki Bayam. First of all, let me tell you who is telling this shloka. <laughs> this shloka comes in the sixth canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam. The Srimad Bhagavatam spans from first canto till the twelfth canto. Okay, twelve cantos in total. And in that there is the sixth canto. If I am not wrong, I am not very sure. I mean, I know this, it is 6th canto, canto, but it can be 7th also. I, I, I am not able to recall. But in this 6th canto, it is there, the story of Ajamil. I will discuss about Ajamil later. But as of now, I want to say that this story will be explained later by me. Now, I want to say who is telling this shloka. This shloka is being told by none other than the god of death, Yamaraj himself. <laughs> and surprisingly, he is also one of the 12 personalities. <laughs> Great personalities who can guide us towards spirituality when we are in search of truth. Okay, Not when you need money. They are not astrologers. Okay, Opening channels in YouTube like me and just telling, okay, your son is in the first house. This will happen. That will happen. <laughs> <laughs> so who are these 12 Mahajans? The first is first things first. Swayambhu. Swayambhu is who? Brahma himself. Swayama, who? Swayam means self. Bhu means manifested. Lord Brahma himself. Okay. Swayambhu, he is self manifested. He is directly born out of Vishnu's navel. He is not born from the union of a male and a female like you are born or like I am born okay or like anybody else he's born directly from Vishnu that is why he's also called self-manifested okay we will discuss about them in detail later why are they called 12 Mahajans okay but now I am just giving a brief introduction about these personalities so I am who Narada Narada Muni is the son of Brahma himself, who goes from different places to places to places in this universe and spreads the divine knowledge. And then there is this beautiful song. Narada Muni Vajai Veena. He keeps singing in the Veena. He keeps chanting the word Narayan, 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 Narayan. Narayan is referring to shelter. Okay. The shelter of all Nara. Nara represents living beings, humans especially. The shelter of all living beings is who? Nara and Vishnu himself. Okay. So he's a great devotee of God, Lord Vishnu himself. So I am who? Nara the Shambhu. Shambhu is who? Lord Shiva himself. Okay. Who stays in the graveyard in Mount Kailash. Okay. Everybody knows him. He is extremely famous. I do not need to give an introduction about who Lord Shiva is. He is one of the three prominent deities of the Vedic context. Okay, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. Swambhu, Narada, Shambhu. Three over. The next. Kumaro, Kapelo, Manu. Kumaro means Kumaras. The four sons of Brahma. Sanak, Sanatan, Sanandan, Sanat Kumar. These four are very, very special sons. Okay, they are known as Manasputra. Manasputra means those who were created by Brahma's thought. <laughs> Although these are four, but they are considered to be one, the Kumaras. Okay, so 
when I say 12 these four are considered one and then there are 11 separate personalities okay these four are counted as one so these four are the sons of Brahma okay and they decided that when they are about to reach puberty they are very much they are greatly realized in spiritual truths they are perfected beings and they know that puberty is the cause of all trouble <laughs> when your sexual urges start troubling you yes till the time you are not under the attack of puberty you are still peaceful right but after puberty comes things go haywire <laughs> so they were very intelligent so by the power of their austerities, they said we will not let puberty hit us. So they stopped their age and that is why they roam as child, childs, okay. They are very small, these four, okay. But they are very, they are, they are most of exalted of the most exalted sages and saints. Sanat Kumar especially. <laughs> they stopped their age and they didn't let the age of puberty come to them. They stayed like that only. I said, see, no tension, no problem. <laughs> Kumaro Kapilo Manu Kapil Muni is the son of Devahuti and Kardamba Muni. He is one of the 12 Mahajans. Okay. He is one of the avatars of Vishnu. Not direct incarnation. He is a one of the incarnations, there are different kinds of incarnations about which we will discuss later. Shakti Avesh Avatar, Purusha Avatar, Guna Avatar, Lila Avatar, and so many Avataras are there. Okay. Kumaro Kapilo Manu. Manu is who? Manu is Swam Manu, the son of Brahma himself. Okay. From the word Manu comes Manushya. Okay. <laughs> so from Manu we get Manushya. Okay. And then he is the progenitor of the mankind. Okay, from him we all come. Descendants of Manu are known as Manushya. Okay, one of the twelve Mahajans. So I'm Manu. He is also self-manifested because he also came directly from Lord Brahma. Brahma did not unite with anybody, with any woman to produce him. Okay. So I'm Manu and Shatarupa were the first created beings from Lord Brahma. They are the senior most. Okay. Swambhu Narada Shambhu Kumaro Kapilo Manu Prahalado Janako Bhishma Prahalad Janak Bhishma Prahalad Maharaj is the most frequently occurring name in the Srimad Bhagavatam. If you read, he is the great personality for whom Lord Narsimha descended into this material world. Okay. We will discuss about Prahlad Maharaj later. He is the epitome of surrender and humility. The best of the best. There cannot be anybody better than Prahlad himself. He is the son of the demon Hiranakashyap, okay, who was persecuted time and again by his father Hiranakashyap himself because he was a devotee of Lord Vishnu. And then the day came when Lord Narsimhadev broke the pillar and he came and ripped apart Hiranakashyap. We will discuss about Prahlad Maharaj later. Swambhu Narada Shambhu Kumaro Kapilo Mano Pralado Janako Bhishma Bhishma Pitama of Mahabharat. One of my favorite characters in the Vedic scriptures. Okay. Who stayed from the time spanning five generations from his father Shantanu to his stepbrothers Chitrangad and Vichitravirya and his grandsons. Who are his grandsons? <laughs> well, we all know about them. Yes, he has seen so many generations. Shantanu. Then his own generation. He has seen seniors to Shantanu also. Bhurishrava, Bahalika. These are personalities with whom he has interacted in the Mahabharata. Okay. And then Vichitra Virya, Chitrangat. Okay. These were his stepbrothers. And then the sons of his stepbrothers. Pandu, Dhritarashtra and Vidur himself. Okay. And then his grandsons, the Pandavas and the Kauravas. Pandavas are 
Yudhishthir Maharaj, Arjun, Bhim, Nakul, Sahadev, okay, and the Kurus and the Kauravas are Duryodhan, Dushasan, Vikaran, and so many. <laughs> There are hundred of them. How how can I remember the names of hundred? I mean, five is okay, but hundred is too much, right? <laughs> and that too, with my poor fund of intelligence, I can't remember hundred names at least. If you can, it's great. If you can, if you can find it somewhere, please write it down from secrettext.com. I'll be very happy. Okay, if you do that. <laughs> we will discuss about Bhishma Pitama later. And now Swambhu Narada Shambhu Kumaro Kapilo Manu. Pralado Janako Bhishmo Balir Vayasaki Vayam Bali Maharaj is the tenth. Who is Bali Maharaj? Bali Maharaj is the great grandson of Prala for whom Vamandev, another incarnation of Vishnu, he appeared in this world. Okay. And Vamandev said, Give me three steps of land okay and then Bali Maharaj said yes I know you are Vishnu himself you are going to strip me of everything but still I am giving you and then Vamandev expanded his feet and with his first step he measured all the planetary systems above Bhuloka and with his second step he measured all the planetary systems below Bhuloka which means the 14 planetary systems of the Brahmanda were covered about which we will discuss later, the 14 planetary systems. But then, Vamandev asked Bali Maharaj, you bloody fool, you are a rascal, you are a cheater. You said you will give me three steps, but you didn't give. And then Bali Maharaj said, no, I still have one place to give you. What is that? My head. My head is still with me. <laughs> which means his Ego was the thing which he offered, yes. And then he said to Vamandev that you can place your third feet over my head. Okay. And then Vamandev smiled and he placed his head, his feet over the head of Bali Maharaj, and thereby Bali Maharaj fulfilled his promise of giving him three steps of land. And then Vishnu was so happy, he said, Go to the subterranean underwater heavenly planet known as Sutala and reside there and I will personally be your doorkeeper there okay I will personally guard you there so that is the greatness of Bali Maharaj he signifies complete surrender okay Swam ho narada shambhu kumaro kapilo mano pralalo janako bhishmo balir vaya sakhi vayam vaya sakhi is none other than Sukhdev Goswami. Sukhdev Goswami is the author of the Srimad Bhagavatam. He is the one who spoke it to Parikshit Maharaj when he was cursed to die in seven days. And Sukhdev Goswami is who? He is the son of Vyasdev, who has written all the Vedic scriptures. So when Parikshit was cursed to die in seven days, we will discuss about it later. But as of now, Subhya Goswami spoke the entire Srimad Bhagavatam. Okay. All the twelve cantos. Okay. And then, who is the last personality? Vayam. Vayam means we. We means who? You and me? No, no, no. no. We means the personality who is speaking this shloka, okay, he is including himself also in that. And who is the speaker of the shloka, I have already told. Yes, it is none other than the god of death, Yamraj himself, okay. Yamraj is speaking this shloka to the Yamadutas who are the personalities who are in charge of pulling out the soul from our body and taking the hellish planets for giving us suffering, to punish us for our sins, okay. So, Yamraj is also one of the 12 Mahajans, okay. So that is it from my side, the 12 Mahajans, today I have discussed on them, the video has been very long and if you want to know more about them, then please stay tuned to my channel and share this video with your friends, family and other people who are inquisitive about very knowledge and help me
share this divinity with everyone else okay and if you have not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to it and before ending god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will definitely find him blessing you along with all the 12 mahajans okay so until next time bye bye see you